Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for breaking up with my girlfriend after she got a dog. I'm a 25-year-old man and my girlfriend is a 23-year-old woman. We've been together for over a year and have generally enjoyed a fantastic relationship. She's humorous and kind, and things have been great between us, until yesterday. When I arrived home yesterday, I was surprised to find a golden retriever in our house. I asked my girlfriend whose dog it was, and she responded with a smile saying, ours. Initially I wasn't sure if she was joking or serious, so I kept pressing her about the dog's owner. She continued smiling and repeating, ours, and then mentioned the dog's name, though I don't remember it clearly because my mind was racing. She even instructed the dog to say, hi, dad. I told her she couldn't be serious, and she responded with a cheerful, why? I didn't say anything further and decided to leave the house and head to a hotel. Early in our relationship I had made it clear that I don't like dogs and can't be in the same room with one. Whenever I encounter a dog in public, I always keep a safe distance from the person walking it. I told her that if she wanted a pet, it would have to be a cat or something other than a dog. While I was at the hotel, my girlfriend called me several times, but I didn't answer. Then she sent me a text saying that I was overreacting and that my fear of dogs was unreasonable. She suggested that I should at least try living with a dog for a while and that she and the dog would help me overcome my fear. But I had never asked to overcome it and honestly it didn't bother me as long as no dogs were in my house. I'd never been bothered by dogs in public because I always maintained my distance. I have never petted a dog before and have no intention of ever doing so. I ignored her messages and went to sleep, intending to make a decision when I was clear-headed. I didn't want to be the guy who demands it's either me or the dog. She clearly loves dogs and I don't, so I was considering breaking up with her, despite the fact that she had been amazing throughout the past year. Update. After reading numerous comments from both perspectives, some saying I'm not the asshole and others saying I am, I decided to meet with my girlfriend and discuss the situation further. I told her that her actions were wrong, but she maintained that I was overreacting and was ready to apologize. After more discussion I told her that I wanted to break up. Initially she didn't believe me and thought I was trying to hurt her or seek revenge. Then she started crying and eventually she got angry and tried to hit me I held her until she calmed down. We talked again after some time and she asked, what am I supposed to do? She mentioned that she couldn't take care of the dog on her own, so I offered to help her find a new home for the dog. I also suggested that if she didn't want to move out, she could stay at my place while I found a new place for myself. Additionally I told her that I would cover her rent for this month. I know I didn't have to do any of this but I couldn't just leave her in a tough spot and didn't want to see her suffer. She thanked me for the offer and said she would think about it. I could tell she was still in shock, so I decided to give her some space. For the past couple of days, I've been staying with a friend who helped me move some of my belongings while my ex decides if she wants to stay or find a new place. I decided to give her a couple of days to make up her mind. The day after our breakup, my friend and I tried to find a new home for the dog since she couldn't care for it. She told me she took the dog to one of her friend's houses, but her friend couldn't assist with finding a permanent home. Honestly, none of this has been good for my mental well-being, so I've taken a week off work to sort everything out. I can't leave the dog on the street, and I'm pretty sure it's illegal to do that in the UK. Anyway, we had no luck and couldn't find a home for the dog, so we'll try again tomorrow. After my friend and I returned to his place, my ex called me. She called to ask for another chance and apologized. I told her I had already forgiven her, but we're just not compatible, and I told her, you're young and beautiful, you'll find someone else. But she became even more upset. That's essentially where things stand for now. I didn't expect my original post to go viral. I anticipate it may be 30 comments, and hope for a manageable amount of feedback. Because of this, I didn't provide many details in the initial post thinking I could address questions as they came up. So, this time, I'm providing as many details as I'm comfortable with. Additional clarification. I want to clarify a few things as I can't respond to all the comments, there were over a thousand. Was it a puppy or a dog? No, it wasn't a puppy, it was a fully grown dog. Why did you leave without talking to her? I left to avoid saying anything out of anger and needed to clear my head before addressing the situation. 
That's also why I didn't answer her calls or messages. Her messages only made me angrier, as I didn't want or need any help. Is it your house or her house? I pay the rent for the house. She moved in with me after we discussed and decided to live together. Since my place was closer to both of our workplaces and larger, we chose to move here. She was struggling financially, and although she wanted to contribute half the rent, I didn't let her pay until she was in a better financial position. Why did you post on Reddit? I made this post because I was unsure what to do after waking up. The reasons I wanted to break up are as follows. I felt disrespected that she made such a significant decision about our living situation without informing me beforehand. This isn't just about the dog. I believe that major decisions in a relationship should be made together. Her lack of consideration for this is a significant issue for me. I felt betrayed that she would use my phobia against me and dismiss it as ridiculous, especially since it's not something I can control or choose to have. I also didn't want her to be without a dog if she genuinely wanted one. I had noticed her looking at dog reels on Instagram frequently, but never thought she wanted a dog since she never mentioned it. When we started our relationship, I made it clear that I couldn't be around dogs because it could be a deal breaker for some. She still said it didn't bother her, which now frustrates me. Final update Yesterday, before making this post, I asked for a raise at work, but they responded that they couldn't afford it. So today I went to work and resigned. I'm about to meet the person who wants to take the dog. If we can confirm that he's capable of caring for her, we'll let him take the dog. Additionally, my ex will keep the apartment, and I will work on getting my name removed from the lease, which should take a day or two. There will be no further updates after this, because I don't see why anyone would be interested in what happens next. However, I will update on the dog situation later today after I return home, and I will try to answer questions in my free time. One last note. I know many of you believe I shouldn't have helped my ex like this, but I didn't do it just for her. I did it for myself and to ensure that an innocent dog doesn't suffer due to her actions. I made this decision because she has no family or close friends in the UK. Imagine if I had kicked her out with the responsibility of the dog and she had no place to stay or any decent friend to turn to, with no family to support her. Such situations can lead someone to contemplate drastic actions, like suicide. I'm not saying she would definitely do this, but there's a significant chance she might, and it's better to be safe than sorry. So, I did what I did for myself because I don't want to look back with regret. I want to see this as a time when I grew as a person. So I guess I was being somewhat selfish. Thanks to everyone, and peace out.